Clear. Oh, you got a bumper hung up. Now you're clear. <laughs> oh, we're talking about penises or fish? I was talking about fish. They're just jealous. <laughs> So, day May 20th, halibut fishing out at tabletop in the middle of the day. Fish the garbage dump all morning. Got, uh, I think, six slings, six sling cod, 12 nice big uh, rockfish, but no butts. So, come out here to tabletop. I got one in the boat, and hey, Andy, for the camera. There, halibut number two. About the same two embryos. And, and about the last. What, 15 minutes? Two, two halibut in the boat. Trianne's got bit a couple times. Andy got bit once or twice. So, hopefully we can stick this out and get, in, get a couple more. So here's an update. Now uh, we have three halibut on the board at tabletop. Trianne's hooked up and Andy's hooked up, so we might have number four and five going on right here and right now. So hopefully uh, Jason can get that reeled up and do some gaffing so I can so I can film. I think he's pulling good. I think trailing trailing has got a real fish. Is he pulling any line out? It's pulled a little. I keep stopping. Get him, trailing out. You got over here, Andy. Did you lose him? I think it's a butt. I'm not headshotting very much. Bring me up the two cod. Don't let that keep the pressure. Keep that rod bent all the time, Charlena. I can't lift it like you guys do. That's okay. You don't have to. Just just keep that rod bent. Keep that line tight. Yeah. You're fine. As long as that rod is bent, you're doing great. You got this, you got this. She's got a pretty good bend in her rod over there. Maybe a good fish. What do you what do you think you're playing with? Any idea? No. No head shake? Might be a sideline. So if they're both tanks, do we keep them? Release yeah, one. Keep them mine. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't want to do this twice. I don't think you got a tank because that looks like it's pulling pretty good. Andy, you never know. He ah, always, it's just tail hook. He always places so low key. <laughs> Maybe it's that octopus we let go a couple years ago. <laughs> I'm going to cry if I'm really up an octopus. It's not fighting like an octopus. <laughs> Only octopus are known for their head shakes. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I sure got a lot more beautiful when we started hooking a bunch of butts, huh? All those points. Holler if we see color, Uncle Andy. Get the gap ready. No color over here yet. 360 feet is a long way to reel up a fish, isn't it? Yes, it is. Especially when it feels heavy. You're doing great. Keep doing it. 
You can rest your muscles later when it's all done. Oh, there it is. But a skate? What is it? Oh, it's a little butt. butt. Ah. Hey, hang on a second. Let Tony hold it up there for the for my YouTube fans. Hold your rod too. Congratulations! Good job. Woo but I caught one. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. And, and Andy, hold up the true cod. Oh, Cousin Andy cool. got this beautiful true cod. So. Got a box full of fish back there, folks. Yep. Still got one hell of a bit to go. This is the one I caught my halibut on last year. It's your lucky lure. Why'd you ever take it off? Somebody talked me into it. <laughs> Okay, update for May 20th, 2021. Still fishing out in the tabletop. Got four halibut on board. Got six lane cod. 14 nice big rockfish. And I think, I think it's probably six nice big fat true cod. Maybe more than that. Or more, a little bit more or less. But, uh, Trying for that last halibut. Who's the viewers gonna put down your vote right now? Who do you think is gonna catch that last halibut? I mean, Andy? Nahum the man? AKA the Ling King? <laughs> Captain Drew? Or Trelina gonna come up with another one? We'll see. Update you later on when we know who the winner he is. We're on our way back in, folks. We did get halibut number five. Jason, who got the biggest halibut today? It was a group effort. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Agreed. <laughs> Captain M found a new spot out on the out on the banks. Put a bunch of waypoints down. We didn't mark waypoint on that last fish, but we found a string of right spots. In, at, right in the middle of all yeah, the other ones. Found a string of spots out. We just found one spot in this huge area out there. There's just a bunch of fish hanging there for some reason. True cod in Elbit Hose. So hopefully get back out there Saturday. Do it again. That is a bad day on the water. Holy cow. That boat is a freaking total. Why me? God did it. Oh, that makes me feel bad for him. I mean, I felt bad already, but that's even worse. Yeah, imagine like two eight hundred thousand pound sea lions on one side of your boat. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too long ago, Charlie. And are you telling us how cute and cuddly they look? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to pet one. <laughs> No, they were like right there when we were playing fish. Sure, it was it like, so I, I, just big. Yeah. I just want to sit down. I just want to sit down. It's not a giant, it's like 30 pounds. Yeah. Nice fish though. You would have been happy to have that thing yesterday. Yeah. Nice fish. Mm 
think you pissed him off, Andy. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. I get to fight a hell of it for once. Feel what a guppy rod feels like. You took him in the mouth? Oh yeah. That's unusual. <laughs> Well, who else wants to have a turn? <laughs> Goodbye. May 22nd, sun's coming up, hell but fishermen are launching, seagulls are doing their thing. 